Istro has manufactured and sold over 700,000 ice makers since the year 2000 in over 80 countries. Our product reliability has been proven in some of the worst environments. We are recognized for simplicity, reliability, and performance. All Istro ice makers are run for three cycles prior to shipping. The machines are tested at industry standards at 70 degree water temperature and 90 degree air temperature. Then the ice batch is weighed, and if the ice machine does not pass inspection, it is pulled out of production. This video is intended to provide information for the sequence of operations for our Istro bell-shaped individual ice cube. Prior to starting the equipment and checking the sequence of operation, it would be best if you check the ice maker installation. Is the unit level from front to back and side to side? Is the drain line and water line sized properly? Has a water filter been installed? We recommend that you refer to the installation user manual provided with each ice maker. To begin the sequence of operation, turn the switch on to power. When the machine is first powered on, the LED light on the control board will begin to blink rapidly. Then turn the ice off wash switch to the ice position. The entire ice making cycle takes approximately 19 minutes and has three steps. First, the initial water sump flushing. Second, the freeze cycle. And third is the defrost harvest cycle. During startup, the water sump flushing takes about two minutes. First, the water inlet valve allows water to enter the machine. It fills the water sump and sends water through the tubes, allowing water to get to the top of the evaporator plate. The water valve will remain open throughout the entire two minute cycle, so to flush and refresh water in the sump. During this time, the water pump is on and pumping water down the drain. The pump can cycle on and off every 10 seconds. At the end of the two minute flush cycle, the freeze cycle is initiated. At the beginning of the freeze cycle, the water valve shuts off and the water pump compressor and condenser fan motors start. The spray tube and nozzles are now filling cube cells in the freeze cycle and ice begins to form. This process continues until the evaporator reaches 18 degrees Fahrenheit. The controller board then initiates a seven minute time delay to complete the freeze cycle. After the set time delay has been achieved, the condenser fan motor shuts down. The compressor remains on and the water valve turns back on to allow water to the sump and over the evaporator and the defrost solenoid is energized and opens and allows hot gas to flow through the evaporator. And while the water valve and pump cycle goes off, and on to remove water and deposits from the sump. After a minute and a half, the water pump shuts down, while the water valve remains energized for an additional 50 seconds to fill the sump, while hot gas continues to warm the evaporator, and once the evaporator thermostat reaches 55 to 64 degrees Fahrenheit, the defrost mode is terminated. The freeze cycle starts over again and this sequence repeats itself until the bin sensor senses a full bin and the ice maker will shut down. Istro ice makers offer three different shapes and production levels of 60 pounds to 1100 pounds of ice per day, with many new models to follow. We also manufacture soft serve machines and slush machines. Istro's state of the art manufacturing facility and engineering expertise, along with research and development, places us among the industry's best. We offer an excellent product construction with simplicity, reliability, longevity, as well as affordability. Istro brands are known as one of the industry's best values. Thanks for taking the time to visit with us, and we look forward to working with you, and please feel free to contact us at any time.